What's up, guys? I'm John Camacho, and this is Between the Pylons. Today, we are talking about the 12th pick in the NFL draft, Brock Bowers, tight end out of Georgia. And, guys, he is doing exactly what I think we all expected, maybe even better than we expected. No, you know what? It's way better than what we expected. Rookie tight ends don't do this. Rookie tight, like this is going to be a short video because uh, there's not much to say other than he's there. He's good. We don't need to do this video again. We don't need to tell you how good he is. This isn't a rookie in the NFL. This is the best tight end in the NFL right now. That's not just me talking. That's PFF talking, and that's stats talking. Let's look at the stats. Why don't we? We're talking about first in targets, first in receptions, first in receiving yards, with Garner Minshew and or Aiden O'Connell throwing you the ball. Look, I'm recording this the day that Devontae Adams was traded to the Jets. And all I have to say is Brock Bowers has been kind of the offense so far for the past couple weeks. It's only going to continue. He's only going to be more the dude. If you can get him in fantasy, get him in fantasy. We'll touch on a couple plays here and there that are kind of everything you need to know about Brock Bowers. First play here, right? I believe this is his only touchdown this season, which is probably the only reason he's, like, I don't even think he's number one in fantasy tight ends just because he doesn't have the touchdowns. He's either number two or number three. Yeah, high point the ball, and then, oh, yeah, you're a tight end. You're wearing an 89. You're supposed to be slow, right? No. We'll, we'll high point the ball. We'll, we'll get a nice little assist from the uh, wide receiver, but we're just going to, Beat the wide receiver, beat the corner to the corner, and he's gone. Gone. Okay, so he can go to the to the top shelf and moss players. Cool. Great. Not something we thought we needed from our tight end, but that's good to know that he can do that. What about over the middle, tough, got to have a type, uh, type catches? Let's see if he can do that. Here we go. Over the middle, man on your back, just catch the ball. Boom. Oh, yeah, let's get another angle of that. And look, I'm the type of guy who I really just need my tight end to do that. Catch tough balls over the middle in in traffic, take the hit, and keep on rolling, right? Big, strong, physical guy. Outside of blocking and all that, from the pass catcher perspective, that's really what you, your bare minimum for a tight end is. He can do that, obviously. We kind of knew that you'd be able to do that. What about the acrobatic, the crazy, the fun? This was called back, by the way. Yeah, well, we can't can't all be perfect, but yeah, that's insane. Jing, one-handed, and contact doesn't matter. Minka, you weren't getting him to not catch that ball. Called back over holding. I don't care. And last, but certainly not least, how about some blocking tape? 89, yep, take his legs out. Gotta love it. Look, on the edge in space. Yeah, he's going to be so good in space. Get your man to the ground. Ooh, touchdown. There's another one here. Yeah, why don't you block two guys for a second? Down the field, just finishing blocks. Just nasty. Doesn't get, I mean, just nasty. Always finishes, always drives. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Dude's the whole package. I don't know what, there, what else there is to say. Dude's got the stats. Dude's got the film. Dude's got the pedigree. He's He's got it all. This is a generational talent at the tight end position. Usually in these rookie watch videos at the end, I talk about what I'm going to be looking for him over the second half of the season. If I'll do another video on him, what I'm expecting or what I want to see. I don't think I'm doing another video on this dude. Not a rookie watch video. Because... What else is there? Like, I guess maybe if he falls off a cliff, I might have to check back and see what happened. That's not happening. This dude is legitimately right now a top three tight end in the NFL. Call me bold. Call me overreacting. I take pride in the fact that I do not overreact in these videos, and yet I am going to react accordingly right now in this video. I don't think I'm overreacting. Call it what you will. Maybe, maybe I am. I think this guy is already in that conversation. I think he's going to be in that conversation for years to come. I think this is the generational talent at tight end that we were promising Kyle Pitts but never truly got. We just got him from a different SEC school a couple of years later. 
it's great to see. I'm super excited to see how his career uh, plays out because this dude is special and Raiders just got to get some pieces around him. The Raiders are going to at least have a couple things on the offensive side of the ball that's special, and they already have a couple things on the defensive side of the ball that's special. So that team is going to be fun to watch moving forward. All right, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Peace.